Hills. It's called Agorgo Hills. <laughs> what? What? Welcome, what? Welcome to this cleaning montage. Get into it. How do you spell that? It's the land of the niggas hating. Niggas hating. Niggas hating. Niggas hating. Kids are weird. They don't know how to wash dishes. It's not even that deep. It's literally not even any dishes left. It's barely any dishes. They don't even want to do that. And cream is just so And make sure you like, subscribe, hit the like button. I'll see y'all next. Take your hat off if you don't want it on in the car. Y'all, trying to get, I don't know how I did this. I don't know how I did this at 18 and 19. I don't know how because this is a lot. I had the energy, I had a ton of friends helping me in college. I don't know what was happening, but baby, today drained me, baby. I am tired. Would the, uh, would it, um, not Portia. Uh, Marlo say, what Marlo say? Lord have mercy. Mm-mm-mm. Today drained me. Today has drained me. And it's only 927. Anyways, we dropping Gabby off and then I have a doctor a doctor appointment that I made because I just want this to be like awareness, like on some real talk stuff, y'all. Like the mortality rate of black women dying after birth is like 10 times higher. That I don't know if that's factual, but it's higher than white women. And so um i've been having like rushing like i never felt like a heart attack before or like my heart being like tight in a fist like i don't know that feeling but and if that's how i feel i don't know if it's a panic attack i don't know what it is but i know something in my heart is happening like i'm antsy i'm i'm like worried i don't know what it is i don't know if it's part of postpartum um or anything like that but i am totally like uh not feeling myself so i want to get checked out i i don't care if i find out that it's panic attacks or whatever as long as i get checked out um asap because you know chest pains ain't no joke and i thought that it would go away i thought it was acid reflux i, I don't know what i thought it was but it hasn't been went away today is tuesday december 10th it started on thursday so i'm like let's just go get it checked out and see what it is so that's the appointment that i have to go to which is why i have to grab me and zeus have to go out today so even though uh, we have been cleared by the doctor to be out and about with the baby, I just, it's winter time, it's flu season, Michigan is like freezing here, so yeah. But I just wanted to make that aware, like birth, giving birth and the afterbirth, if something not right, go in. Like, I don't care if you feel like this tingle in my left pinky, I ain't never had a tingle in my left pinky before go in like that junk is serious man you gotta act on it quickly so that's where we're headed to my appointment is at 12 10 um we are dropping gabby off it is 9 30 so i'm gonna probably grab me some starbucks and 
then we're gonna get our day started today December 10th our agenda is Starbucks doctor's appointment Somerset Mall oh and we gotta get groceries we gotta get groceries I really want to go home and clean out the refrigerator before I get the groceries, but then I don't want to go home, clean out the refrigerator, and I'm going to feel like coming back out to get groceries, and then I'm going to end up ordering online, and it's going to be double the price. Like, I don't know if y'all know, and I know people don't be like, Capricorns, Zodiac signs is not, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Zodiac signs is not real like blah, blah, blah. Capricorns we are very proactive people we like to have a to-do list we like to have shit planned out we like to know what we're doing next we like everything and like planned we don't like anything to pop up and right now my life is I feel like it's all over the place I don't know nothing like I don't have a budget my monthly budgets is not planned out my my calendar at home is still says October like that is just how much I'm all over the place like seriously all over the place so yeah I this week I said I was taking time to get my life together finish wrapping these gifts up so I don't have to do it the night before the week of Christmas and then just chill out and really start cleansing my life meaning my home so I can feel mm inside before the new year because i do not want to be the week before new year trying to clean my house because you're supposed to come into the, the new year with a new clean house no i need to have that done so my cleaners can come in do they deep cleaning and i can let uh light my candle that's how i want to go out in 2023 boom oh and my birthday is january 1st my birthday coming up y'all my birthday tomorrow bye Good morning, this is Martha. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. How can I help you? Can I do a caramel brulee latte um, hot grande with an oh. extra shot of espresso? All right. Will that be it? Yes. That'll be 742. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. So I was making a post on Facebook to mess with my husband. I posted this picture. Pop here. Head to Somerset to use Afterpay. If I can't, oh dang, dang! I hate when I grammarly like I type so fast. You think I'm slow? If I can't, okay. Uh, I put head to Somerset to use Afterpay. If I can't split it in four, I, what the fuck did I say? Wow. I mean, I'm sorry. I gotta stop cussing. Hey. And then, like I said in my previous clip, if I show it, like Somerset is our mall, like, I don't know any other malls out of, out of the state of Michigan that's like the upscale mall. But if you, whatever your upscale mall is, that's what Somerset is to us here in Detroit. So, but we have two sides. So it's like a big skywalk that you can cross over to, they say the broke side, which is like the normal mall with like Nordstrom's, Macy's, Forever 21, all that. And then you cross over to the rich side, which is like um, Louis, Gucci, Burberry, Hermes, Tiffany, Chanel, Saks, Neiman's, etc., etc. I hate when my app says I have one amount and I don't have that amount. It didn't load. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Oh, you oh, thank you. Can I have a stopper? Thank you. Holding up Beyonce Starbucks on like that. Anyway, TDD motherfucker. Give a fuck about a nigga. Big broken bag, hold five, six figures. Stripes on my ass, so we call it pussy tigger. Fucking on a scamming ass, rich ass nigga. Same group of bitches, ain't no ass to the picture. Drop a couple of rats, watch his ass get thicker. Tricking on licking, I'm licking at your nigga. If it's money right, you can eat it like a sticker. I ain't got time for this fake ass hoe. Talking all loud in them fake ass clothes. Fake ass shoes, make that fake ass hoe. I'm the realest bitch, never see snake ass hoe. Up, you can get 
All right, y'all. So it is the next morning. It is December 13th, and I have a meeting, um, like with some tech people that I'm working with. Like I'm so excited because it's like something that I really wanted to launch and branch out to. So I'm late. So I'm waiting in the waiting room, and then maybe we can discuss more about it when I'm off this call. Hi, Sarah. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm so sorry for my tardiness. Well, it's great meeting you. I'm excited to work with you. Yes, still. thank you so much. All right, bye. So basically what I'm trying to work on, right, is that I think I expressed before that I'm in the IT field and I've been like networking with a lot of major um, like groups so like women in tech girls girls code too or gr girls who code um the iiba which is the actual certification nationwide to be a certified um, business analyst and with those requirements come you actually studying for a test and then having working hours to become certified so like just kind of working with those groups to kind of help mentor and like you know, sometimes a lot of people get together in the IT world and come up with an idea and we're trying to launch it and we're trying to get funding and investors. So I want to really just kind of tap into that aspect of it because um, my husband just like, what, what is your passion? What do you want to do? Do you want to keep working a corporate job? Like, do you want to retire from it? He's OK if that's what I want to do. But I know in my heart I'm meant to do more. And I'm meant to be that social light to get women, women of color, um, and just inexperienced people who just haven't had the opportunity to go to college, get a degree, and actually do what we do on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis. So kind of get them up to speed, get their skill sets, level them up. So I feel like that's where my passion is, where I need to be at, where God is calling me to go in that ministry area. Um, so yeah, so it's good to just like network with like recruiting companies, staffing agencies, um, stuff like that because that is when you go into like staffing company and temp agencies and stuff like that and getting like six months contracts or contract to hire, that's usually where you can really level up like without having too much experience if that makes sense. So like people like I want a permanent position I want benefits and sometimes that's good but also the contracts baby they pay more they only six months um and you build that relationship with the recruiter so by the time that your contract is ending they already then put you out in the field to uh, get hired again so I was talking to a recruiter here in regards to um like what is companies looking for what is the skill sets that they're looking for what do they want people to know and have the ability to do like what what are the what are the main things that they're looking for in a candidate to hire them if they don't have a degree or a certification what are they looking for that candidate candidate to have that experience in so yeah girl that's what we're trying to do so um i'm so glad deuce did so good in that meeting he did not make a peep so I'm about to show him some love um, he had his bottle and um, I need to clean out those refrigerator because trash day tomorrow I didn't make it I was supposed to do that the last vlog that didn't happen but I want to show y'all what we got from the Mizzle yesterday because it was a lot <laughs> I mean I, I didn't get a let me say this I didn't get I did get a lot of stuff but um, dudes did pretty good. I was kind of nervous having him in, in there, but like I showed y'all with the Duna, I got the muff and I got the cover and I got the other cover. So he was really snuggled in there and kind of just away from everybody. So, and then with us being at the mall so early, we was able to, uh, beat the crowd like it wasn't crowded it was like me and him had the mall to ourselves so that was i love that for us and the good thing about this is that i can show it on camera because by the time that this vlog airs um he's already received it so i did go to louis and so i don't know if i want to 
open it up. I don't know how to tie this back. Oh, I can take it off. Ooh. Oh, rats. Okay. Y'all, I haven't. All my luxury items I've been buying online, I have not been inside of a store in I don't know how long. So I was able to, like, it's different for me when I'm looking at it online, uh, like all the, the new styles that they have. But to go in person, I had, I had a whole list. A whole list. So this is how it looks when I open that paper up. So she gave me some samples because I was like, in between the, with fragrances that I wanted to get. Um, so she gave me some samples of that and cause I'm probably gonna go back and buy them cause they were really good. But this one is called Imagination. Y'all, if y'all looking for something for y'all husbands, this is amazing. Let me see. They don't have the notes on here. Nope. Dang, I gotta break the plastic, but he, he know his wife. Oh, this juice is starting to come. Okay. Let's get the notes inside here. Y'all, what the? <laughs> and this is how the... That was not a smooth opening. But where's the notes in this? So I can tell y'all what it Y'all, this is a penny dropper. This is a penny dropper. And especially if you a girl and you like wearing men's cologne, this is a good one because it's not strong, but it's it's mild and you it's gonna it's gonna turn heads like it's gonna be like, girl, what you got on? But it's not like a men strong, if if that makes sense. Like it's not it's not giving like a musky, but it is like it's not fruity. I don't know. I am not a perfume person to describe. I do not know how they be describing perfumes, cause baby, I gotta go in and smell it. I can't go off of what you're telling me, cause I don't know what oud smell like, what bergamot smell like, what vanilla. I don't know what none of that smell like. <laughs> And then you talking about mixing it together. I really don't know what that smell like. So, yeah. Let me try to find the notes in this. And I'll probably put them like up here somewhere. Anne Brooks. That is the notes. Anne Brooks. Anne Brooks is A-M-B. Well, girl, I'm going to have it on the screen. It's black tea from China. What? I don't know no, with none of this, but I know it's cedar, bergamot, ginger, and cinnamon. And what? How do you say this? Narrowly. I said Nerola. Girl, that's that Detroit Public Education for you. It is narrowly. Narrowly. So. So narrowly cedar, bergamot, ginger, and cinnamon. It's all what's in this cologne. <laughs> and thank you for coming to my education one-on-one -on -one with me, learning with me. Thank you for learning with me today. Anyways, those are the notes. Y'all seen them on the screen. Those make imagination and it smells magnificent. Like this is a penny dropper. Like, if I wanted more kids, this would get you the kids. So first spray it, it's gonna, you gonna be like, uh, I don't know. Like, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. But when you spray, when I sprayed it on the car and I let it simmer and I walked around the mall and I picked that car back up, I said, oh, this is the shit. Like, I ain't even gonna hold y'all up. Like, it, once it's set in, and I, y'all know, like, with different skin, different pe people, um, scents, like, their natural scents on their body can change the cologne on how it smells. But when it's set and simmered, it smells amazing. So, don't be, um, thrown off when you 
spray it at first. And if you do go in to smell this, smell the top. Like Louis has the things at the bottom, which sometimes they spray them, but I don't spray it on there yet. Just kind of smell it first because it had time to sit and smell it first that way versus spraying it fresh or pick up the top and go like that and smell it. So yeah, that was that. So I hope he likes that because baby, I like it. And usually my husband, um, if I buy him a cologne, he knows that I like the smell and he'll wear it because I like it. Like my husband's like, I want to smell good for you. So whatever you pick out for me, I'm going to wear it. Now, the, I did, I don't know how y'all feel about MCM because MCM almost give off, I don't know. I know it's an old school brand and stuff like that, but I bought my husband when I when I I didn't have a lot of coin. I bought him uh, the duffel bag and a book bag and the iPad case. So he uses his book his MCM book bags when he goes to work, and it's really nice and it's not loud because y'all know MCM their print their original print is loud to me. So I did end up getting him a book bag that was kind of settled um but i also got him the duffel to match it so when we go out of town he carries his book bag and his duffel but i think i'm about to upgrade my husband because he bought your girl a chanel bag so i bought i think i want to upgrade him for his birthday to the louis luggage so get him the duffel and the louis um book bag and let him pass that down to uh probably like jordan like the kids because they're getting of age so um yeah and then for for christmas i bought him something that goes with the travel part of the mcm um but i want to get him so i can get him some travel stuff in louis because they have some really nice ones in there too louis i just is, i think it's just like a luxury exclusive for guys like i love to see a guy in something so settling like i love to see a guy in louis vuitton and the only way that you know it's Louis Vuitton is if you know Louis Vuitton. Does that make sense? Like, it doesn't have the flashy um, LV all over it. Like, the Damier, I think I'm pr pronouncing that right, the Damier print. I love that they had it in the skull cap for guys. Ah, should have got that too. Should have got that one as well. Because that was fire. Like, you couldn't tell unless you up on them like this like like that like you it was real like subtle i love subtle low-key i want to say you know i love that like i love like especially when they took their chain and it's like i know you know what i'm saying the girl that get it get it good morning it's the next day i did absolutely nothing that we talked about from that last clip nothing like zero it was so much going on yesterday but anyways i'm about to um take down my hair because i got a hair appointment tomorrow and then um i have a lash appointment today at 3 30 so it is december 14th if i didn't say that it's 10 30 it's a late a late morning so hopefully i'm gonna try to have my hair taken down and like soaking in conditioner for about till 11 30 i should be done and then i think i'm gonna kind of zush it up and look kind of presentable to go out because i still need to go to the grocery store and i still need to clean out that um refrigerator and i also want to do something for my husband because he just got a promotion at work clap 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 and he graduates saturday so i'm like i don't know if i want to do something today or if i just want to wait till saturday to do like a big thing um i also want to do a dinner for him but I know that the dinner not gonna happen until probably like January, February time. So I don't know. Let's. I'm gonna time lapse me taking out my hair because I don't even feel like montaging this. So we're gonna do that, and then we'll come back and we'll figure out what we're gonna do. And yeah, I got some some house stuff that I need to talk to y'all about. Okay, here be. Uh, eighth grade little boy i'm just letting y'all know anyways i am not getting on camera but 
I have to, so I didn't, and I didn't even get my lashes done today. So I have to go back tomorrow. So I, I hope that my um, hair appointment don't take forever. Hopefully it does not take forever because I gotta go get my hair done, a lash appointment, and then I have to get my hair first, hair done first, then my lash appointment, then um, my eyebrows, and drop Karim off at his grandma, so it's a lot. Anyways, this is my husband's cap and gown. It's wrinkled, so I'm about to use the boy's steamer to steam it out and watch Aaliyah J. Is it a, no, I'm sorry, Aaliyah J. Aaliyah's face, travel vlog. So, I'm gonna time lapse this because I don't have that much memory on my card, and I look a hot mess. All right, y'all. It is uh, December 15th. Whoa. I'm so glad that my refrigerator is not that dirty. Because I still ain't did it yet. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why my day has been flying. Like, I feel like I have not accomplished a lot of stuff. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, I'm on my way to get my hair done my nails done and my eyebrows done because again like i told y'all yesterday i couldn't get that done i couldn't get my eyelashes done and i'm out here looking like a eighth grade football player like i'm over it so hopefully my day goes smooth i don't know it's always a give and take when you go to the hair shop and then i have to get my lashes so yeah we don't know what this day about to take us. I got do swimming in the back because his daddy wants to go get a haircut. And by the time that I get to my hair appointment, he should be there in the parking lot and we could do a switcheroo. So that's kind of where we at with it. I'm going to be 12 minutes, 12 minutes late. 12 minutes late to my appointment. But um, yeah, that's what it is. I got to take some stuff back to H&M. I didn't even show y'all what I had got out of H&M. Um, but some of it, I'm taking it back because I'm going to go get the coat that I want. Um, and then I am taking some of all of, well, majority of Gabby's clothes, her winter clothes from last year. Um, because she has so many, she only wore like, she only wore the clothes like once or twice. Because she had so many clothes and then like she was in school so she had her play clothes and her play clothes I just threw in one of those bins that you give away like you just dump it in the bin or whatever and you donate it but these clothes are in really really good condition so I'm taking them to this place called once upon a child you just drop the bag off Ugh. Come on camera you just uh, drop the bag off you drop the bag off, they go through it, and they let you know how much they're going to give you for all of the clothes. So, that's what I'm going to do after, uh, before I go to get my lashes done. Because it's on our way there, and then by the time I'm done, they'll probably have a total for me. So, yeah. That is all, folks. I'm probably, oh, I got a sponsorship. I'm so excited. It's a small sponsorship, but you know what? I love like the small sponsorships because it gives you a chance to really create. Like it allows you to build your resume up for those bigger brands. So I'm okay with the small sponsorship. Um, I just look at it as practice and training. That's how I look at them. So if this goes well, I can't wait to show like my small influencers like the people that have the same amount of followers as me or less on how to get these little brand deals like this i kind of ran into something that's legit it's legit y'all so i'm gonna try it out first i'm gonna be the test dummy and then i'll spread the word if that makes sense so y'all probably see that sponsorship 
over on Instagram actually. I may incorporate it into YouTube. Like I said, I always give my time to stuff like that even though they're not paying me to put it on YouTube. Um, it's for Instagram based. Um, I'm still gonna try to incorporate it into my YouTube so that I can get the hang of um, creating content for brand and stuff like that if that makes sense so yeah so if you're not doing so already make sure you follow me over on Instagram at Avianda Latisse I'll have it linked I mean I'll have the name across the screen so that you can be able to follow me over there and see what little correct col collaboration that I have <sighs> John have y'all ever got your natural hair done after having a quick weave in it feels amazing he made Oh, amazing. We about to go get our lashes done. Lashes and eyebrows is next. I gotta call Marcella Wapalis to make sure my baby is good. Cause he came and picked the baby up from me um, at the nail, at the hair salon, so. Was the night before graduation and through the night. I gotta get ready to get these kids together for tomorrow. Hey, deuce. Um, but we back. And I didn't even show y'all none of the stuff because I'm still not comfortable yet with vlogging in public. But I got my lashes done. And I got my eyebrows done. And my face is so dry because it's so cold. But um, I pulled my lashes out during labor. And I think I pulled some of those, some of my real ones out. And she was like, where's the rest of your lashes? Anywho, I need some blue gloss. And so I was like, let me just show them what I got. <coughs> I went to Sephora. And I had to get me some. I don't like Summer Fridays. I like the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. This is in Berry. I like this so much better than Summer Fridays. I don't know if it's because I'm not getting a, the right kind. But, uh, yeah. I like this so much better because I use the, the sleep mask too, the night mask. I got that. I got Jade a gift card because she has some stuff on there. And I was like, I'm not about to figure out what she wants. So I'm gonna get, I got her a $50 gift card to let her get what she wants. Um, I know I went on a rant about how these products are not good for you because I scanned them on my app. Yes. You No, that's my lip gloss. You're not messing with my lip gloss. Go get your lip gloss. It's in your room. Go get your lip gloss out your room. Um, but my best friend mom who I consider my mom because we've been best friends since second grade and um, She was like I want to try um, The Fenty skincare and I was like, okay girl. So I got her this one. It comes with the total cleanser the fat water and the um, Hydration basically it's the uh, cream and then it gives you a sample of the butter drop. So I was like, I'm gonna get her this size so she can try it out. I'm not gonna buy the full size for her. So I did end up getting that. I was gonna get her the lip oil, but they were sold out. And then I took the items that I got from um, H&M back. You couldn't find your lip gloss? Okay, go get you some in there. And I got <clears throat> this cutie because I want to wear it with my sweater. Some, oh, my hoodie, or I was thinking like a black fitted um, turtleneck. I don't want to say turtleneck because, like, I be thinking you think it's like right up here, but it got like a little neck to it. Yeah, get a little, get a little, Gabby. Um, but I, I think I'm gonna do that, or I might do a hoodie. Y'all know how y'all do with the look like this. <clears throat> like this. I like this jacket. It's cute, but why is it fake pockets though? There's no real pockets. What coat don't have pockets? 
anyways i got this because i want to put it with my hoodies or just like a coat that i can wear out i got the da vinci shark boots but let me show y'all the ones that i got i got the combat boots looking ones instead of the heel so i'm gonna wear these tomorrow with some kind of like an all black fit type of thing with my chanel crossbody let me get these kids together i finished ironing out um steaming my husband's cap and gown all the way but it looked better than what it initially was so i'm gonna probably go over it again tonight just to kind of get those kind of get it out a little bit but it should be good so he good um i gotta pull out what he's wearing i don't know what he's wearing actually and then i gotta pull out gabby's outfit to see i might have to run a target in the morning to get her some um boots like the boots to go with her outfit i'm gonna show y'all her outfit hold on so my cousin got her this outfit for her birthday i think so how it's so cute and she got a little purse to go with it but she got like the cute little skirt that goes with it so she's gonna have on her tights and then she's gonna have her blazer on and i got um it came with three of the pack but we're gonna use just a plain white long sleeve underneath with her tights and so i'm like she needs some boots because i'm like will her uggs look good with this i think she need like some boots that's kind of like not necessarily gold but like a cream color um but i'm thinking like in a combat boot style like a doc martin type style i just got out the shower y'all my husband and the kids bought me this bisachi rude for Mother's Day, and I've never worn it. Worn it. I took it. What are we doing? You want me to spin it? Do you like the colors? Do you like them? Anywho, um, I never worn it. It's actually pretty comfortable. Of course, I did wear it like one time. I think. Dude's not gonna let me be great. Mommy just wants to wash her face so that we can get into bed and prepare for your daddy's graduation tomorrow. Anywho, I am going to use these Big Man products today because, whoo, my face was so dry today. Like, so dry, but I think I got this stuff on my face from when I did a scrub with my Way products today. Yes. Yeah. 